Hello everybody, in today's video we're going to be checking out a puzzle that's been out for a little while and I've always wanted to review this and I got my hands on one at the cubicle. So I'm going to go ahead and review this thing right now. It is Oscar Van Daver's Ready Cube which has been mass produced by Moyu. And uh, I don't think it's a very difficult puzzle. Well in fact I know it's not because I know how it works and I've also solved one before at the cubicle. Um, but it's a really nice fantastic turning puzzle. It's a one of my favorite puzzles that's come out lately now that I've played with it a little bit, but this is a brand new one that I haven't played with. Um, but it's really high quality. The turning is just like amazing. Um, this thing would be cool with magnets. <laughs> magnets. Uh, but yeah, it's really nice. Now this puzzle here I think would be, you know, a lot of people are trying to get other puzzles like, you know, wanting them to be, you know, a WCA event. Well, I think this one would be a pretty cool WCA event because it doesn't take a long time to solve and uh, it's really fun to solve. So uh, this puzzle comes in at $13.99 at the cubicle.us, which is great because honestly, the plastic and everything, the lube job, like this thing is just very well built. It's like, I will tell you guys, if a puzzle comes with crappy plastic, it doesn't turn well, it locks up. Um, this thing here is just really, it's a pleasure to solve. Um, and it looks really nice as well. So that's really good. Uh, it weighs about, 130 grams, I guess, and uh, it's 61 millimeters across, so it's fairly big. Uh, it comes in black, white, and stickerless. Now, I chose a black one because I used to like a lot more stickerless puzzles, but now I'm starting to go back to uh, black puzzles quite a bit. Anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and scramble this thing up because uh, I want to kind of show you guys how this how this works. Um, it's There's been variations. I mean, it, it solves in the same sort of thing is like a pyraminx or uh um a bubbleoid cube or you know there's there's a lot of different puzzles that require this up up down down algorithm and that's basically all you do to solve this thing so i'm going to go ahead and do a solve and kind of talk about um how this puzzle works so the corners never move right so that's a corner and it never moves it's a corner turning puzzle and uh, and, and so basically the way I do it is I take a look around and I say, okay, this, 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 and this have white on it. So we're going to turn all the white sides up and that's going to be our white side. I don't care about the top four at this point in time. I just care about this. So I'm going to go ahead and start placing some of these puzzles or pieces. So there's one there. This orange one doesn't belong there. In fact, this red one belongs, so I'm going to turn this, hide that, bring this up, and that gets our orange out, which is what I was trying to do. And let's go ahead and bring that green out by doing this. And now we can do the same thing with this one. All right, so now we got our bottom layer. I guess I was a little out of frame there. Uh, bottom layer. So now I go ahead and fix all the top pieces. And now I want to fill in these pieces. So this one here can go here. So you move it in. You put it back. And that's basically up, up, down, down type of stuff. I'll, I'll show you a little more here. So you go... Yeah, I don't want that like that. So you go down, up, up down the variations up up down 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 up down whatever um it's it's actually a, a fairly intuitive puzzle to solve which is what i like so this one here i can't really just put here because I, I got nothing to hide it with so what i'm going to do is put it over here first by going down down up up and hide it put the position it needs to be there put it in and down she goes so now we just have one more and that one is right here, which is great, because that's that's pretty much where I want it to be. Um, so I want this. Does this work? I'm trying a different variation. Yes, it does. So now we've got that whole middle layer in. And now we just kind of want to... Um, well, we want one on top. So I'm just going to do a random down, down, up, up. And you can see it put the blue in. And now we can see... Um, this one needs to go here, this one needs to go here, and this one needs to go here. So I'm going to go down, down, up, up. And as you can see, 
the puzzle is solved. It's actually a fairly intuitive puzzle. You don't really even need to know algorithms because it's really down, down, up, up. It's not a hard puzzle at all, but it is such a pleasure to solve. It is very, very smooth. Um, the moment I saw this puzzle, I was like, okay, I'm going to, uh, I, I want to review this, but the cubicle never sent me one. So when I got to uh, the cubicles office in New York and I got to cherry pick from their stuff. I was like, okay, I'm getting it because this is time for me to review this puzzle. It is so cool. I really, really like this puzzle. In fact, it is one of my more favorite um, non WCA puzzles. And it was even before I solved one because I just thought it was such a cool puzzle. Anyways, guys, this is uh, $13.99, but you can get it cheaper if you use coupon code crazybycuber at checkout. Uh, thanks to the cubicle for sending me this and thanks to you guys for uh, watching. And uh, I'll see you guys on my next video.